everybody. Welcome back to another edition of the Make Code Arcade live stream. I'm Vivian. I'm at LibTrip on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Daryl at Darzu on the Make Code Forum. I'm Shannon at Shakao on the Make Code Forum. And we are making a game about mountain climbing today. Shannon, do you want to talk about your experience? <laughs> Oh, sure, yeah. So I spent part of Labor Day weekend climbing um, part of Mount Rainier, uh, and it was very difficult, but a good experience overall. Um, and I was telling Vivian and Daryl about how difficult I found it, and they were like, we should make a game about this. <laughs> what What is in the mountains? I want this game to be heavily inspired by your experience, so I feel like we should add aspects of your experience. So what, what were the coolest things you saw? Um, okay, so there were wildflowers, which was awesome. Mm. Um, lots of pine trees. Oh. Lots of, like, mosquitoes. Those mm. weren't cool, but I feel like they're a necessary part of yes. this experience. Enemies. <laughs> um, and then we didn't see any bears, but I know that they were there. Um, oh. Bears. I feel like because this is a Vivian game, Daryl suggested that we add goats, and I second that. Goats! I, yeah, I would love to see goats. <laughs> and every time I go to a place where there's wildlife, I always want to see it, but I feel like they never come out. <laughs> but So this will be nice. Okay, so my plan is we'll have Shannon at the bottom, and we'll move up, and there will be things that we encounter along the way. Um, not really sure... If we should, maybe we should have like health and like speed. Maybe as Shannon gets more climbing, she goes faster. Um, but yeah, I'm open to ideas. I just, I don't know. So I'm gonna make Shannon first. Very important. <laughs> it could be like a like a stamina thing. So like you can climb up this vertical wall, but like your stamina reduces, and then when you get to a flat part, you like rebuild stamina. Oh. Slowly. Wait, Shannon, what color was your shirt? Uh, gray, I think. Gray, okay, purple. That's a gray <laughs> color. And then climb. Oh, like, okay, so maybe we should have, like, platforms that we can stand on. And then, we can, yeah, okay, I'll do And what color are your pants? Black. Black, black. <laughs> Very cool. Streamlined. <laughs> Camouflage with the rock wall. <laughs> Okay, that's climbing. Climbing. Oh, no. Okay. Why so let's so much. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, kind player. Okay, I'm gonna oh no. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> How should we make platforms that we can maybe the platforms should also be sprites? Hmm. And then they'll come down, and then you can go a bit without touching a platform. Or should this be tile map based? Mm. Mm. Yeah, so I could see it tile map based. Mm -hmm. um, and the thing you could do is, like, if you're pressing the B button, then the mm -hmm. player sprite is, like... I don't know, immune to walls somehow? Although that also turns off all collisions. Mm. Mm. I feel like my yeah, instinct is... Think. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll make some some sprites. <laughs> you guys, we, we should talk about the pros right. and cons of every approach, and then mm -hmm. we can decide. <laughs> Who wants to be, okay, yeah. What are your thoughts, Daryl? Talk I'm, us through it. <clears throat> I'm wondering if we could like auto-generate different mountain segments, uh -huh. you know? It's like, here's kind of a scramble. Here's kind of just a flat trail. Here's mm -hmm. like some woods. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but I'm not quite sure how you would do that. Maybe it doesn't just have to be up and down. It could also be like left and right on different parts. And then you have to go up and down to get to the next part. Oh, I think that works. So mm -hmm. if you did it um, tile map based, but mm -hmm. you were walking sideways, but mm -hmm. like you can't jump. So mm -hmm. when you come across like a, a, a vertical wall, 
then you have to like hold a different button to like climb the wall. Uh -huh. um, oh man, these flowers are so good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see it, so I don't know if it's what it actually looks like, but this is what I want them to look like in my heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a wall, you push a button, you climb it. Are you actually moving in the tile map? Yeah, so you then you would be moving up instead okay. of. Um, Let's do that. I'm going to make a walking shin. <laughs> and then I'll make a mountain top. I feel like whenever I want to make games about my life, it ends up not being a great game, but I like making the sprites. That's okay. Okay. Shannon has eyes. Wait, this is weird. Um, I'll deal with that later. Has a neck. Hair should be over here. Why won't you click? Okay, you click. Um, Shannon, what's your favorite mountain? Mount Rainier. <laughs> Have you seen many mountains? Um, no. I've seen the ones in this area, and uh -huh. then a couple of the ones in Oregon. There's like Ooh. um. Uh, the the friend I went hiking with lives in Oregon, so um, they have like, I don't know, like the Three Sisters and like Mount Bachelor and all of those. Oh, I, I'm not familiar with the Oregon mountains. Didn't know about the Three Sisters. <laughs> I like them because they're very descriptive names. So it's like Three Sisters and it's like three mountains together. And you're Aww. Like, <laughs> um, or like there's one called Broken Top and it looks like the top got broken off. <laughs> Easy to identify, which I appreciate. Mm, I heard Mount Baker kind of looks like an oven door. So that's also really? pretty descriptive. <laughs> that's what my friend said. Mm, okay, so let's make a, let's make a, okay, let's just keep it, keep it reasonable for, for now. But then I want to make it big like Rainier. If, oh, if the time map could be Rainier shape, that would be ideal too. But reasonable first, we're going to make a ground. So Daryl, what's Daryl's definitely the mountain expert on oh, yeah. this by the way. But what's your favorite mountain, Daryl? <laughs> oh, um, there's a region in Switzerland, Switzerland called the Jungfrau region. Um, and the Jungfrau is a mountain as well. I think that's probably my, my favorite. Have you been there? Mm-hmm. Whoa, okay. What why is that your favorite? Um so it's right next to this valley. And the contrast between like the bottom of the valley with these grasslands and these cows, and then like the top of the mountain, just real close, like it's extremely sheer kind of oh. cliff. And there's these little villages kind of on the sides of the valley, kind of part way up the mountain. Um, villages? Whoa, mm -hmm. how do they do things? What is their life like? Um, I think it's, well, so yeah, some of it is is like you know farming stuff. There's a fair bit of skiing and and that sort of tourism that happens, um, and you know summer hikers and things like that. Um, some of the villages you can only really get to by gondola, um, what? which is pretty I fun. Have to to Switzerland. Did you take a gondola? Mm-hmm. Many mm -hmm. times. I had a uh, an unlimited pass. Oh wait, like the. The, the ski gondolas, not like the water gondolas. Um, it's kind of like a ski gondola, but it, it's fully enclosed. It's like they put oh, freight okay. and everything in these things. They're, they're pretty big. Mm. Wait, okay, so I made some ground tiles. Now I'm going to make some cliff tiles. So, yes, make it purple. I'm really liking this art direction. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> harness the power of the mountains. All of both of your imagery was so nice. So let's see. Okay, here is one. Um, so like what what do you look for in a mountain, Daryl? <laughs> Top three um, mountain characters. You know. Well, you know, Snowy Peak is a classic. Ooh. Uh, you know, Green Valley below is is, is oh. also a huge plus. Rainier's got that kind of too. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Just 
being being able to see it is a big plus. <laughs> like some mountains are are far away and hard to reach. Oh, okay. So building the into a mountain who has like the ability to be a show show person too. It's like, oh yes, must build the yes. anticipation. I see. <laughs> Any wildlife requirements? Oh, good question, Shannon. I like. It. <laughs> I mean, I, it's all great. All the all the wildlife you see around mountains is it's pretty pretty awesome. Yeah, my first place in Seattle, there was like view of mountains on all three sides. I could keep, see the Cascades. And Olympics and another one maybe maybe just two sides. And it's amazing. Anytime you walk down the streets, like whoa, mountains. It's not used to seeing something interesting in the distance. Usually it's just sky. Wait, where were you? Um, I was in Queen Anne, so it was pretty high up. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. I feel like Seattle is just like mini mountains. There's lots of mountains within the city to get to places. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I need the other end of the rock. Then we'll be able to move. Yeah. Okay. So I think our main thing is going to be exhaustion. Can you make it to the next part? Who knows? Um, okay. I don't remember so what, what is the, the tension? I'm wondering. So you'll, you'll lose exhaustion as you do harder or stamina as you do harder uh -huh. things. You'll get it back if you rest. But why not just rest all the time? Um, or like, what's the risk? Maybe you don't want to fall off the mountain. It's like, if you fall off, then you have to go back to another checkpoint. Mm -hmm. um, why won't this fill in? Could be bears or something. Mm. Like, oh, maybe oh. occasionally you need to like move, and if you're out of stamina when you have to move, then you're in trouble. Yeah, like there's something behind you also. <laughs> <laughs> Mosquito. <laughs> Make sure bite you. Oh, that makes sense though. Like if you rest for too long, then the mosquitoes start to swarm you, and that's bad. And bears sniff you out. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> Lots of dangers in the mountain. I'm going to just put this car here. I don't know. Okay. Let's make Shannon spawn on the car. There's lots, lots to do. So, scene. Let's place Shannon on top of a random car. It's, it's just one car, though. Okay. Oh, we got a camera follow Shannon. Camera follow Shannon. Oh, if somebody wants to make a bear sprite while while I do this, that'd be that'd be good too. Good um, idea. Shannon, um, move Shannon with. I feel like Shannon will make a better bear, but maybe I can make another animal. What do you think, mm -hmm. Shannon? Okay, I'll do a bear, but you still have to do an animal, Daryl. Okay, I'll, I'll do an animal. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> a surprise animal. <laughs> surprise animal. Um, so maybe it should be like we hear that there's a Daryl animal somewhere in these woods, who knows? But um, okay, so we're gonna set some acceleration on the Y axis for Shannon so that when we move off of a wall tile, we will fall. So let's see. Pew. Okay, and that'll be danger. And so, oh, okay, move Shannon with buttons. We only wanna move in the X, we don't wanna move in the Y. And then let's say when you have B, then you can climb. So we'll be able to move. Yeah, okay, so let's do this. Let's bring out a controller on B button pressed. Um, then we can move Shannon with buttons VX and VY. But then let's have, okay, let's bring in an extension. PX or status bars right here. And then my idea is we'll have Stamina. So when you start climbing, we'll start out with full stamina, but as B button pressed, um, we'll decrease it. And if it's zero, then we're going to fall. So set status bar. Well, new variable stamina bar. 
And then we're going to create a new kind, stamina. Right, and then let's attach it to Shannon. I have never done this before because I, I don't know, never had the need, but now we have the need. But let's attach it to Shannon. And okay, on being press, we have a stamina part. Aha. And I like that we keep on falling if we don't do anything because gravity's always pulling you down. Stamina. Yeah. <laughs> Constant fight against it. Okay, <laughs> so now on game update. If the B button is pressed, we're going to decrease the stamina of our so controller. Oh, is, you can use the um, B button release. Oh, sorry, repeat. Um, oh, yes, I'll do that. Controller on B button. Oh, and then we can control how often it does that. Uh, well, okay, wait, no. If you want to do how often it is, then I think it would be easier to use the game update with time. Mm. So maybe that one is better. Oh, I, I want to use this one because it's exciting. I never <laughs> use this one. And we'll, we'll deal with the consequences. <laughs> stamina. I feel like I spelled stamina wrong, but it looks, I think it's fine, but it looks bad. Okay, now on B button repeat, we'll change it by negative one. Let's see what happens. Okay, shit, it's decreasing. Oh, okay. I'll deal with this rock face later. Okay, um, and on, on reach zero, well, so when we have no more stamina left, then we're gonna not be able to move Shannon with any buttons anymore. And she's gonna fall. Ooh, and also how about Let's store our last ground state. Yeah. Uh, can I do that scene? Um, I think I need to bring in the tile maps extension. So let's go to PX, Microsoft slash PXD dash tile maps. No question mark. Yeah. And here we have very useful extension. I feel like so so it extends the capability of our cave. <laughs> so in here we can go into the bottom and there's location. And so we can get location of my sprite. So let's set this to a variable. Last. OK, here. Last touched ground. Sure, that's a long name, but that's okay. And then we're going to set that to be the location of Shannon. So maybe Ash, if it reaches zero, Shannon's gonna, okay, let's, let's see what happens when Shannon falls. So B. Oh no, okay. So um, let's, let's have a check on game update every 500 milliseconds. Actually, no, I'm going to just make a special tile for it. I want to make a special danger tile. What's dangerous on the mountains? Mm, bushes? No, I'm going to make a special danger tile. We're going to have rocks. I don't think it really matters what this is. Oh, this is going to be water. It's going to be rocks, but it's more like water. OK. And then I'll put these here. So on overlaps of one of these danger tiles, we're going to Place Shannon back on the last location. <laughs> Tile map. Uh, no, this is a regular scene. Place Shannon on top of last touch ground. Maybe we should decrease health. I don't want to make Shannon die. Maybe we should <laughs> think about that. Okay, so 
let's see what happens. Oh no, okay, cool. So we have that, I forgot. So if we're on the ground, then we wanna increase our stamina bar. Um, maybe that should be on game update every 500 milliseconds. And if the tile below us is wall, let's see if there's a better tile for that. I think, I think we need some scene. Haha, -ha, no. Yes, if, if, if Shannon is hitting wall bottom, then we will increase change stamina of our value by two. We can tune these later. Why are you? Oh, yes. So the stamina bar doesn't always exist. So let's set stamina bar at the beginning. OK, so we climb, 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 climb. And then on the ground, OK, restoring. Kind of slow. I'll make it bigger. And then we should add danger. So how should we decide when we're going to set the bears loose? Mm -hmm. OK, um, if Shannon's hitting wall it, bottom. Yeah, sweet Daryl, you go. Um, so one thing that does attract bears is food. So it could be that you have like a snack bar you can eat to get like a burst of stamina back. But if you do, um, there's a certain percent chance you get a bear or something. Yeah, we got to move. Okay, let's eat. So um, on A button press, we're going to make Shannon eat a snack. Shannon, what did you eat on your trip? Um, Goldfish? <laughs> Ooh, rainbow or right. original? Mm, okay. On A button pressed. Maybe I should animate Shannon. Animate. Bring in the animation package. Okay, here we go. Um, frames. Animate Shannon. And let's bring out this. Okay. Daryl, do bears um, ever have like a lighter colored belly? Is that a bear no. thing? Or no? It's a good question. I feel like it is, but you know. Uh, let me <laughs> do some Google. Why, why do you, why Shannon? Is it for it's your- It's be realistic. <laughs> good, I appreciate so I think... you. I think the type of bear you're most likely to encounter there is a black bear. Black bears don't seem to have a lighter colored stomach. Okay. Um, brown bears. No. Danger. Also don't. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. But you know, we can, we can, this is an alternate reality. <laughs> A reality where Shannon did see a bear this weekend. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> We're already uh, fictionalizing the. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so this is Shannon facing forward. And then we're going to make one where Shannon's eating goldfish. <laughs> So I'm going to make this taller by two pixels, scoot it down, make this one taller. Okay, this one's already taller by two pixels, scoot it down. And then while, while Shannon's eating, maybe she'll bounce. <laughs> um, 
maybe I'll make these legs longer though. It's just growing taller because she's eating food. <laughs> Why can't That's I pick what up eating this? goldfish does to you. It's like, you know, spinach for that guy. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> you know, the, the guy, he like drinks a can of spinach. Um, oh, Popeye. Yes. <laughs> oh, I didn't actually know it, but I've heard stories of Popeye. <laughs> okay, so Shannon eats. Okay, cool. I'm happy with that. Cool. <laughs> Animation and eating on A button pressed. And then with a percent chance, we're going to make a bear. Percent chance. Let's have it at 90% chance at first because it's a risky food because bears eat fish. I'm going to open up the <laughs> chat. Shannon's message. Okay, close the chat. Oh no, this, the bar is going to be up. Okay, let's make a bear. New variable bear. Is it 16 by 16? Oh, it's 24 by 16. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 that's such a good bear. <laughs> wow. Oh, love. Oh, I love its belly. Wood pet. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's make a new kind. Bear. Make a new bear kind. And let's spawn it to the right. So I'm going to set the image. Um, image. We can go into image, we can flip it vertically. Do I have to put that in a variable? I have to put that in a variable. Bear image. Oh, you don't have to. You can oh, just no? flip it. Yeah, it, it'll. Oh. Yay. OK. Easy. Wait, what do you mean horizontally? I can never remember which one it is. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's on the vertical axis. <laughs> okay, thank you. And then that would be on the make code final, and I would get it wrong. <laughs> um, and then let's put the bear on. Wait, should I make the bear projectile? No. Bear's position to be x zero. Y is going to be at the same height as Shannon. So control no sprites. Get the sprite. Oh shit. Favorite block. My favorite block. So useful. There's so much stuff in here and I feel like I don't even use all of it. Okay. And then and then give the bear some velocity. <laughs> well, I'll change it to be more realistic later, but I just want to see the bear do something. BX. It'll be a slow bear, so it could be like 30. I mean I should have it follow shit. No, that's that's okay, so let's push in here. Let's eat. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're afraid. <laughs> uh, okay. So now what should happen when the bear touches Shannon? Oh no. I don't want Shannon to Maybe die. it says, can I have some? Oh. And maybe Shannon has to go back to her car because she needs to get more for the bear. Ooh, yeah. Bear will say. Can it could I just say sharing is caring. Share. <laughs> you know, bears full of valuable life lessons. <laughs> and then let's it's true. Pause for 200 milliseconds, and then we got to put Shannon back on the car. Shannon, what would you do if you saw a bear in real life? The instructions that I read said, if you have food, ditch the food and go away. But if you don't have food, then get very aggressive and make yourself big. Oh, if you don't have, wait, okay. And if you do have it, you just feed it to them. And then do you leave? Yes. Mm. 
It also depends on the type of bear. Oh, yeah. You don't want to run away from a brown bear. Mm. <laughs> Faster bears. Quite fast, I think. Surprisingly fast, maybe? Very fast. Frightfully yeah. fast. You, if you ever want to get terrified, look up some videos of bears oh, running. <laughs> You've seen bears in, like, the wild, right, Daryl? Yeah. Only a couple times, I think. But each... Each time I saw them, they were kind of running away, but, um, you know, they were running away fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From you or just going somewhere? Yeah, I think so. I, I only okay. seen uh, black bears. Black bears are pretty shy. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so on B button released, we got to move Shannon. We got to set things back to what they were before. So no more VY and then set the image back to standing. Mm. Okay, so, oh, I also don't, climbing, 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 climbing. Okay, cool. And then we can, okay. <laughs> no bears this time, nice. <laughs> oh, bears, oh, very bear. Bear. <laughs> <laughs> That's, okay, now, Wait, I don't think I ever said that eating restores stamina, so I gotta do that. <laughs> okay, so on game update, where did I go? Here, animate Shannon. Let's set the stamina bar all the way back to 100. And then, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, bear, we gotta fix the bear. <laughs> Is there a way to get like the left? Part of the camera. Wait, what do you want the bear to do? Uh, start at like, yeah, start at the like left part of here rather than all the way at zero. Is the camera left? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. I've never used that. Okay, so now what should we do? I feel like I've 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 gone lost in the forest and I forgot what this game is about. What's the goal? Um, I think you should be trying Ooh, to get. Wait, to the so. Top. Oh, sorry. Yeah, getting getting up somewhere seems like a good thing. You gotta okay. get that, you know, that view. So you, you know, <laughs> oh. media. Um, the other thing is, does your does the animation reset? Um, like, do you put away the the bar? Uh, wait the the goldfish. Wait, should uh, I just do the animation? Yes. Yeah. So if you animate. Oh, you right, you right. Okay. You just make the last frame of the animation the walking one again. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I'll do that. Copy this. Put it. No, wrong. I don't know how we got by without copy paste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then maybe I'll. When Shannon gets sent back to the car, where is that? We're going to stop all animations. That's unrealistic. <laughs> so I think stopping, will it just stop it at any frame? Oh, and then I should set the image back to the walking one. I'm not sure what will happen, but maybe. May as well. It's so easy to grab. Okay. Let's see. Our beautiful crafted. Okay. Sharing is scary. Maybe I should destroy all the bears then. Well, but then we want to think. Uh, after they walk off screen, maybe we have a like destroy on. Um, oh, maybe picture. the bear should face Shannon on the car, and I'll say it, and then after a while we'll just just like set a lifespan on it and like destroy it, so we we can see it saying like sharing is caring, and it's waiting for our food. Okay, um, flip bear image horizontally, and then set lifespan. Oh, very exciting. Set. Okay, put this here. Lifespan, two, four hundred, and we gotta set the velocity to zero so it stops walking. It's waiting for the food. B walk X zero. Okay. Danger bear. Oh, like longer lifespan, and then I'm okay with it. 
And we will position to be closer to Shannon. Two seconds. And then set other sprite X to be Shannon's X plus 20. That's a safe distance away, away from the bear, but close enough that you can still give it goldfish. Oh, no. Okay. Also, we got a spawn Daryl's thing. Should that be a special event? So I, I sent, um, I put two things in the chat. Do you want me to describe them or do you want a surprise? Oh, I want, um, I think we should, you should decide what we should do with each of them. Like it's dependent on what it is, right? Ooh, we should paste um, the image in first though. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> Bring out an image block, pull up the chat. Okay, very exciting. I'll pull up the first one first. Sounds great. Okay. Is it 16 by 16? Yes. Cool, cool. <gasps> <gasps> so it's a it's a marmot, which they're like, they're kind of like teeny bears in a way. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Oh my goodness. So he's just sitting there. <laughs> and, uh, they 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 sort of like sit on rocks and just sort of stand up and look around, and um, they sort of call um, to each other. A lot of people think they sort of sound like humans a little bit. Oh, which is kind of funny. So maybe for this guy, I was thinking it could be a friendly animal. So as uh -huh. you're climbing higher, it just uh, says random you know words of encouragement. <laughs> it's like you got this. Oh yeah. Okay, let's make a marmot rock for it to come out of oh, this background image. I love that. Okay, so maybe on on random platform rocks like this, we will spawn. Oh, okay. yeah. I'll just leave it here. Okay. Um, loop over all the rocks of kind, I don't know where I'm looking for, all the rocks, all the rocks, no. Um, are, you, are you looking for, oh yeah. The... Um, and then percent chance, it'll spawn. Or should it, maybe later I'll have it dependent on like the height of us too. It's, but it's right. like percent chance. Then we'll make a new sprite. Marmot. One time I went on a hike and it's called Marmot Pass. And I was really excited to see the marmots. But one of my friends I was hiking with had like um, foot troubles and it was like really painful. So we got almost to the end and I think I could hear them. But we had to turn around. So we didn't get to see them. Oh. <laughs> But I'm glad I can finally see a marmot here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna place the marmot on top of value. And then let's make an array of marmot sayings. <laughs> marmot, what's what's a word for wisdom? Marmot parables? <laughs> um I feel like there is a word for this, but I don't yeah. know. You know? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Um, throw out your phrase, sayings. Higher you climb, the more you see. The more you see, the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I've heard people say that before. Um. Um, marmot, mar, mar, mo, marmoist. Mm. Um, um, it could be so when you're climbing, I don't know how you would do this, mm -hmm. um, but when you're like hanging, you know, from the rock wall. It could say, you know, hang in there. Ah, ah, I love that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to have these as like standing phrases. Yeah. And then, 
<laughs> on okay, so on game update every once in a while, it's the arm arm is gonna say something. So if I say if the B button is pressed, mm, that's the controller. B button is pressed. That means we know we're climbing. Then all all the marmots, all the sprites of kind, um, marmot. Did I make this a kind of marmot? I did. Wait, no, this is the wrong one. Where's my race? Wait. It's in a race. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, okay, go away. We're gonna loop over it. Loop. Element of sprite kind marmot. And then they're gonna say, <laughs> maybe it'll be weird that they all say it at the same time. <laughs> say, hang in there. <laughs> Otherwise, if it's not pressed, we're gonna say a random thing from our list. <laughs> Array, get value at, math, pick a random from zero, to link if only we had that new block. <laughs> <laughs> One day. But okay, it can't just be the length of it. It has to be minus. Yes. I would like that block. Maybe, maybe then something. We could also we could also have it so that it um you pick a random marmot to say it too. I don't mm. know if all the marmots. Well, so, so this but there's a bunch of marmots around. They're all just gonna be yelling out. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're climbing a wall, and there's a chorus of marmots. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put, place the marmot <laughs> minus sixteen. Okay, so we're gonna change the marmots. So it's not in the rock; it needs to be on top of the rock. Why? By the sprite height divided by two <laughs> minus, right? Yeah, marm. Oh, it's gonna be that one. And math divided. Is this to make it like half in, half like in a hole? Uh, yeah, I wanted it like on top of the rock rather than like on the tile. Oh, okay. I think that you can just do like sixteen. Oh. Okay, we'll do that. By negative or 16. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the marmot. Let's look at what did I do wrong? Change marmot value. That was the wrong thing. Okay, let's see. Show it to me. Hang in there. <laughs> Tell me you saw something. Oh no! <laughs> I need to do that. I'm around the bear. <laughs> I yeah. love the uh, the encouragement when the bear is coming at you. It's just <laughs> 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 okay. We also need to destroy the bear. Um, how should I do that? I think, I should I think if you just put auto destroy on, everything oh. will work because it starts on the left side of the screen. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, no, that won't be good. You can have a destroy on hit wall because if you do auto destroy. Then the player could just jump so the bear's out of the screen, and then you're in the clear. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Destroy on wall. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that should work, I think. And we also got to bring in. Be, I wonder if it's instantly hitting a wall, you know, because of. Oh. oh okay. No, no this okay. seems to be yeah. working. Goodbye, yeah. bear. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Okay. Now, what should we do? Oh, we got to bring in the other Daryl Sprite. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Super exciting. See more? Okay. May bring out another image. Is this also 16 by 16? Yes. Oh! <laughs> awesome. It's a very dangerous mosquito. <laughs> Okay, do you have dreams for the mosquito behavior? Because <laughs> um. I feel like it could like come in and if it touches Shannon, maybe stamina goes down. It's And maybe it can also be yeah. while Shannon's climbing. Extra danger. Right. 
Yeah. Okay. So let's have it on game update every whatever. And then if, and we'll have a percent chance for spawning a mosquito. Maybe it gets higher as you, wait, lower as you go up because mosquitoes can't live that far up. Um, then we're going to make a new sprite. Should it be a projectile? No, I don't know. I want to give it a random path. I don't know if that's easy. No. Mo Ooh, random path, Sweet. interesting. Wait, could we give it like an image to be a path? Like, I can draw a few um, like mosquito paths. Like, <laughs> oh, but then it's like hard to know the direction. <laughs> you Think could. Wow, so now that I'm thinking about this, we could, if we wanted to get fancy, use Joey's um, pathfinding thing. And mm -hmm. then we could use the array of all tiles to get all like blank tiles or something. Uh -huh. And we can pick out like four random locations and then pass uh -huh. between those four or something. Oh. And then that would be a zigzag across the whole tile map or something like that, you know? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, should I try doing that right now? Uh, sure. I think we could do it. J1 girl slash A PXT. <laughs> I feel like I will. Okay. Oh. Uh, here, I'll look it up. Dash a dash star pxtrk dash. All oh, right. A dot dash star. Oh no. Nope. Um. Here, I'll post it in the chat. Okay. Okay. It's there. Arcade tile. Wait. Arcade it's dash um. Tile. Arcade dash tile map dash a dash star. Uh. <laughs> and um, one draw. Yeah, Got it. That right. Got it. Awesome. Okay, so here we go. Another extension. I love extensions. <laughs> we have, where does it go? It's in scene. Path following. So let's make a random path. Okay. Wait, so how can we make it more than two places? Or we ha make it follow? Oh, uh, I guess you can only do two places. So we could just pick two random locations. So it spawns somewhere and it goes to somewhere. Mm, um, and then we'll and have you a just spawn more. You, right. And you can have it um, follow. You could just spawn mosquitoes more often, you know, if you're not seeing enough mm. of them or something like that. Um, okay. So maybe um, how do I get how do I get a random tile map location? Should I just do random from zero to tile map width? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, oh. No, I was thinking, so there's an array of all tile locations. Oh, oh you right. And you could do that trick um, you did with getting the random um, uh, element from that array. Yeah, I love it. What were you going to say, Shannon? No, no, no. Uh, okay. So let's bring this over. We'll see where this goes. It's code painting. We don't know where it's going. <laughs> we just see the next one. So make a variable empty tiles. And then we're going to set empty tiles to be this one. So, uh huh. Well, you know, I wonder if we should just make a function that takes an array. Oh, you, no, you can't take an array, can you? <laughs> I want to do this path thing once, though, or I don't know. Yeah. It's like I, slightly expensive, I guess. Oh. Well, um,. I think it'll be okay um, because it's at most once every um, half second to create a path. What do you think? I can make like it I, less I, often too. Right. Yeah. Um, I made a tower defense game that was doing way more pathfinding than this. <laughs> but I think you only did one path. Or oh, did you upgrade it to do it? Um, I updated it so like every time you place a tower, it would update, yeah. and it was like you know updating pretty frequently. And also, um, anyone that was off the path would path back to the path. Mm -hmm. um, so it being ended up being a lot. Okay, so mosquitoes right now following a random path. Wow, these are wild animals. Don't know what they're thinking. Oh my gosh, we ate food. Now I'm gonna have. Okay, I think when we're near the mosquito, we can have like an over, like a giant invisible square, and then when those are overlapping, then the mosquitoes will follow us. Is that a good idea? Yeah. That's okay. Great. I'll do that. 
make a news. And maybe mm-hmm. is there an event for when they reach the end of their path? Because then I feel oh. like they can disappear or something. Right. Otherwise, we'll just fill up. <laughs> Let's see what's in this category. Completes yeah. path. Awesome. <laughs> We're gonna have mosquito completes, and then we should destroy them. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah. sprites, my least favorite block. <laughs> Okay, and then let's make a hitbox for our, or let's make a secret camera. New variable. Secret. Do we have a block that's like in camera? Oh, um, um, wait, so what, what are you putting well, we don't, around? Nice. I'm going to center it. Up. It's just going to be everything on screen. And if we I see the mosquito. Well, but then in that case, you won't notice the mosquito oh. wandering around randomly. You're sure. right. What if it was much smaller? So you have yeah. to like dodge them, but um, you know, it's not too hard. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Okay, is that a good size? I don't know. I think okay, this could get a little weird because you need it to intersect with. You need collisions on to hit the mosquitoes, but you're also doing a lot of wall stuff. Um, uh-huh. You should get a shot without. Um, without invisible on just to see how it moves. Okay, cool. I will make okay on game update. We'll set the hitbox to be our position. Um, set hitbox. The name is I need a secret camera. Mm, that's a bad I'll fix it later. Um, and then to be Shannon X. Shannon Y, something I always do on my own games, I always forget to change this to Y. I'm like, this looks weird. Don't know what this behavior is. Okay, and then let's see what happens. So what what are we worried about, Shannon? Oh, no. Uh, if it looks good to you, then that's... This looks good, yeah. Sweet. Oh, I guess okay. you are setting the position, so all good. Okay, cool. And then awesome. we'll just say... Wait, did I make it off can hit I did. Okay, on kind overlaps of hitbox with mosquito then we'll have sprites follow where is it i think you'll oh, yeah. also need to tell them to stop following their current path oh okay cool i can make this shannon shannon and then we'll also go into scene and see what else is in there is following a path sprite. Mm. So uh, the sprite follow path block. Um, if you just take out the path, um, mm-hmm. like just drag that out. Yeah, that should stop it. Okay, follow nothing, but then follow Shannon. Sorry, Shannon. Sure. Okay, and then we gotta make sure. Okay, let's make this invisible. Let's make the mosquitoes when they overlap um, do bad things. So secret camera. Secret camera, secret camera, invisible, true. And then on overlaps of kind mosquito with kind player. Wait, why are you in? Oh, shoot. I wonder if we fix this so that it doesn't um, give an error anymore. Uh, we could just try it and see if there's a problem. Okay, cool. And then on this overlaps, change status bar value by negative 20 and then let's destroy oh that's a big number and then let's destroy the mosquito um what was it gonna do this is, oh yeah this is a stamina bar and then sprites destroy mosquito okay wait oh no I also, th- oh, so it's gonna be tricky. The mosquitoes are gonna be, they might get stuck on walls, but that, that might be okay. Okay, that would okay. do. So yeah, they're definitely getting you. Okay, cool. And then let's make a goal. <laughs> and then I think that, is that everything? I think so. Mm, cool. Let's make this longer, 30, 30. And then what, what what was the goal for you, Shannon? What were you trying to get to? Um, 
We did a circle, but I think it should just oh. be like a top. It could be like, I don't know, like a flag or a cool tree or your flowers. You don't use the wildflowers. Oh, yes. We, we're climbing the mountain so we can see the flowers. So let's make another platform up here. Where I do also, the flowers go? Oh. If we have time, what we could do is once you uh, hit that like flower location, uh -huh. we could set the background image to just like a vista of Rainier, you know. Oh, love. Okay. I don't know where my flower image went. Oh, I think it was a sprite and not oh, a... Oh, okay, cool. But you could paste it in. Love. Where did where? I put that? Oh, no. Where is it? <laughs> okay, let's collapse blocks, format code. Oh, here it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Forward thinking. Set tile map. Make a new one. Paste. Yeah. Done. Let's mm -hmm. put this here. Okay, so on overlaps. It's in the same category. On overlaps. The flowers. We're gonna set background image. Wait, set background image? Or just make a new big sprite. Uh, I think set background image. What do you think? Okay. Let's make a quick mountain. So <laughs> sketch it out. Let's have sky and then purple mountains. Majesty. <laughs> this is what Rainier looks like. You came, you approached Rainier from the north, right? What? Snow what on top. Oh, yeah. Snow. Yeah, some snow okay. on top. Maybe some, some clouds, you know, before the top. So it's sort of clear that, oh. um, you know, it's really high. <laughs> okay, what color are clouds? This can be this. So, um, oh, oh yeah. Or Did you have It could be white if you do like a really flat bottom on the clouds and then like uh, poofy, poofy tops. Ooh. That's a classic cloud look. Yes, true. <laughs> okay. Cloud. And we got to have the green on the bottom, I think, so we know that this is like a perspective, you know, mm -hmm. the player knows where we're at. Okay, so let's make the grass. <laughs> Sound effect, you really sell it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then we got a piece in our flowers. Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Wow. Well, I'm so happy about the coffee awesome. and paste. <laughs> you should make some of the flowers purple. Oh, okay. Okay, purple. Oh, no. Okay, gosh. Okay, purple. Maybe the no, vibrant well, purple. Yes, I've yeah, never that. used this before. <laughs> Wildflowers are perfect time to use it. Yes, beautiful. I need to change the shading, maybe. I think it still works. It's just okay. like lighting now. <laughs> <laughs> Set background image to that. Should we get rid of the tile map? We should probably like set some sort of like um, game win flag or something, and then stop stop the bear, stop the everything. Mm, okay, so destroy all kinds. Yeah, yeah. Or, Just well, but the mosquitoes. So you'll want to be able to stop the mosquitoes from spawning, too. Oh. Oh. And then maybe after a certain amount of time. Can I just pause and then nothing can run? Yeah. Maybe pause after the background. You're right, you're right. Pause yeah. for five seconds. And, can, and then game over. Win. So, yeah, let's have some text. Like, wait, where, where, where is it? Okay. <laughs> Set dialogue. Show long text. Shannon, what should you, what would you say? Um, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll just say like Mount Rainier. Wait, what were, do, were you going to say something, Shannon? No, I was going to say something dumb. So you tell me, this. tell me. Well, it was just going to be like, oh, you made it or something. <laughs> we made it. Mount Rainier is beautiful. Okay, pause. Um, discuss, destroy of kind, bear, and then, okay. Maybe then we'll sh do set 
lifespan on Shannon. Mm. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's two. Okay, thanks everybody for joining the stream. Um, hope you got inspired by mountains, especially if you are in a place that there's no mountains. So <laughs> I'm Vivian, I'm at Live Triple on the Make Code Forum. I'm Daryl at Darzu on the forum. I'm Shannon at Chacau on the Make Code Forum. No. Okay, let's see it. We made it. Mount Rainier is beautiful. I'll finish this before I post it and then we'll <laughs> see. So, okay. I love it. <laughs> okay, bye.